Welcome back, viewers, and thanks for keeping tuned in. Now, viewers, um, just before we went to the break, we were talking about a new scheme that's coming out, Spring 2018 for first-time buyers, which um, gives you an automatic 20% discount on your purchase price, which is a very interesting thing. So if you are somebody who wants to maybe look at, looking at purchasing at the, that time of the year or within that period, then I think it is, is the best time to start preparing now. Um, it is for 23 years? From 23 to 40. Yeah. Oh, right. People you who need never to be, owned a house before. You need to be at least 23 years That's old correct, yeah. uh, and between 40 years old to qualify. And obviously there's new um, criteria that's going to be there, which we don't know yet. But this is something, uh, heads up. Yeah. yeah that's okay. Correct. Now, obviously, we've, we've, I've got loads of questions. I've got pages of questions oh, to ask you, and I finally. think time is running much faster. But what I want to ask you is, um, there are other types of mortgages out there, all right? Now, this is not just for the first time buyer. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about what sort of products out there are out there in the current market? Sure. To, to, mm -hmm. So to sum up, uh, mortgages are essentially two types: repayment or interest only. Yeah. Repayment, obviously. Do we have interest-only mortgages still? Uh, for residential uh, uh, applicants, no, there isn't. Um, okay. I mean, in exceptional circumstances, the answer is yes. Uh, you really have to be, uh, not, not first time buyer, by the way, uh, or you have to be in an extremely uh, financially um, a privileged situation to get an interest only mortgage. Okay. But if you are that, you probably buy out cash it only. Okay, so, I understand. Uh, but so essentially, you can say repayment uh, mortgages are o o the only types of mortgage that are available for first time uh, residential buyers. Um, um, so you pay, say, like if you buy a house for um, 100,000, uh, again, uh, you can put it on repayment terms for next 25 years. So you pay. Every month that you pay mm. a, a, a particular sum, mm. you actually pay some interest and some of the capital. So that, that's a repayment mortgage. Mm. Within repayment and interest only mortgage terms, there are different types of deals are available. Uh, for example, fixed, uh, fixed mortgage rates. Uh, okay. So you can fix your mortgage for two to five years, sometime even longer um, at a certain percentage point. And it will stay that way for okay. that particular time period, maybe two years, three years, or five years, wh whichever. Okay. Normally, if you start a two years fixed product, uh, the interest rate is slightly lower than three years and five years product because they're fixing it for, 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 for a longer term, Long that's why it's higher. Um, and what it means is even if the Bank of England interest rate goes up and down or bank, uh, the particular bank that you've got the mortgage from, mm -hmm they have increased their uh, uh, standard variable rate, you won't touch you, you won't do anything to you. Your payment would be the same, the same. for the duration of the fixed period. Uh, it, can, it can work for your benefit, it can work the other way as well. So if the interest rate goes down, you start paying correct. the same. That's but absolutely. then again, what's the chances of going down? The interest rate is uh, all time low, isn't it? S sitting here today, I mean, what are the chances? Mm. Maybe very little. Mm. Then again, we said that, you know, three, four years ago, when interest rate was 0.5 percent, yeah. not 0.5 percent. That's right. We thought that was so, low. Yeah. So nothing is impossible these days. Mm. Uh, but here, yeah, um, Bank of England interest rate. I mean, there are, there is almost no room to uh, go, go down. down it's, it's abnormally low at the moment. Yeah. Uh, even back in uh, 2008, just before the financial crash, it was 5 percent, wasn't it? Bank of England interest yeah. rate. So it, it was it was you know, but compared to that, it's almost nothing. It almost you get free yeah. money. Uh, apart from a fixed rate, obviously, you can uh, uh, go to a variable rate. Uh, in variable rate, you have trucker, you have SVR, you have discounted rate. So mm -hmm. trucker is basically essentially means it's, it's trucked with Bank of England mm -hmm. base okay. rate. So if Bank of England interest rate is 0.25%, your trucker rate might be you know, just about that, you know, depending what kind of deal you are on. Uh, SVR standard variable rates are rarely available to first-time buyers uh, yeah. anyway. It normally goes when your deal period are en has ended. Mm. So if you're in two years or five years trucker or fixed deal, after that the rate uh, goes to bank of Engl um, that particular bank's okay. standard variable rate. And also discounted rates are okay. available. So mm. that means if a bank of uh, a particular bank's um, rate is uh, like 5%, you're going to get the deal uh, for initial years at a discounted rate, maybe 2% or 
may be lower or may, may be okay. higher. It will be a discounted rate. So as the name suggests. Um, I wanted to uh, touch on uh, something else as well that you asked. What are the things that uh, first-time buyers or, or yeah. young people can do uh, really to increase their chance of uh, obtaining a mortgage? Obtaining that mortgage yeah. I mean, you can always, you know, go back to your family really, can't you? <laughs> okay. Ask your mom and dad, bank of mom and dad, as they say. Um, and recently, as we have seen, I mean, parents really have to ch uh, help their children, don't they? Uh, in some cases, is that gifted deposits? Yeah, in terms, you know, you, you know, parents or family members, close family members, can gift their, um, you know, uh, children or family to, you know, for for, for to contribute to, towards their deposit. One or two bank has got scheme uh, where, if uh, mom and dad put uh, or or a close relative put some uh, amount of money in the in in the savings ac account of the particular bank. Okay the applicant will ha have to pay any deposit they are going to get full 100 percent okay mortgages because their parents or their family member has put that some money that's in the saving account does, account, does that yeah. need to be used uh, it doesn't have to be used you, you oh. put it there you can't withdraw it for a certain period of time okay and and you get 100 percent. there are one or two schemes out there all right also what uh, you know first time buyers or people who are struggling to get onto the property ladder I mean, recently I've done a case for uh, a lady in Birmingham. She was buying a property. She was struggling uh, for affordability. She wanted to borrow a large sum. Uh, with her salary and her husband's salary, it's not enough. Uh, so what they can do? They have a brother who works in London and at an investment bank. Mm -hmm. He's an investment banker. And he gets uh, quite huge sums of salary. He's single. He, does, he has got enough disposable income. So that brother then came in onto the mortgage of the couple, oh, right. even even though he's not going to leave, he is just coming for affordability purpose. Okay. So if you have, if you are struggling, is that like a guarantor? Is it? Is it guarantor mortgage? This is just uh, coming as an afford for affordability purpose. So if you are struggling uh, to get uh, to get a mortgage, so if you, for example, if you want two hundred thousand pound mortgage, but you have only a certain amount of income, obviously we know uh, you, it's not mortgage is not like before. Before they just used to go by multiplication of your income. Now they look at your what your other expenses are. So in that particular uh, case, we had like the couple's outgoings were you know quite high, and the, their disposable income is not high enough to obtain that mortgage for them. Then the brother, brother brother-in-law who lives in London, he came in onto the application because he has got enough disposable income, and we got them the mortgage. So you can ask mm. a family member if if you have a close like you know a uh, family member who is well off a brother yeah. maybe or a sister or whoever uh, blood relation of course and you can ask them to come if they w wants to do that also i've seen uh, w you know three or four people getting together to buy a house so if you are you know struggling again and you want to one two three four business partners maybe or or maybe if you have a big family siblings big family, yeah three brothers or go, four good brothers news or for big families yeah. you know i i have seen uh, you know a lot of cases like that happening for four brothers and sisters getting together buying a big house yeah. because they want to live together so that's also possible so those are the things that you know yeah, there, are can, there are many opportunities yeah. i think what it boils down to is the either the cumulative income or the mm. individual's income that's it yeah on the application so yeah. you got to make sure that you are someone who's earning that money that's correct you yeah. know you know your pay slips has to reflect that yes your course, yeah. tax payment has to reflect yes. that yeah. and i think those are your backbone of the mortgage application that you that's need it, to have yeah. obviously nowadays they yeah. also check all sorts of outgoing like yeah. gym payments yes, and that's correct, um, yeah. entertainment that yeah. you spend they also calculate all that within your expense and yeah. expenditure uh, that's report. correct yeah i mean they do really look at your uh, expenditure uh, so it's not just how much you are earning yeah. how much you're spending as well I'm going to have to tell you, we only got five minutes left. Right, okay. So I've got so loads of questions on the residential <laughs> side. And uh, I would like to cover them maybe sure. some other day. But I do want to cover my business people as well. Sure. Um, so sorry, first time buyers. <laughs> I'm going to have to now uh, ask you some questions about um, someone wants to buy a second property. Sure. What are the procedures? Yeah. So if, you, if you, you have bought your first property, you're living there happily, hopefully. 
you want to buy a second house to rent out, you've got a bit of uh, spare money, uh, you know, saved up every month. Uh, it's always a good idea, but really, uh, again, look at your finances. Mm. Uh, rental tax calculation has changed recently, okay? So from this year going uh, forward until uh, by 2021, uh, government has put in a scheme, uh, whereas um, you they ca calculate your tax. Before I it was know, like on net profit, whole, yeah. We can do a whole show on this. That's it, it's yeah. so complicated. And Not anymore. It's, it's calculated on your gross rental income. So by 2021, if you are, uh, say, like uh, getting 20,000 in rental income uh, from a property, uh, you can uh, only... We have a caller. Would you like to take a call? Yeah. Well, I don't mind. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, Salaam alaikum, caller. Walaikum salam. Um, okay, is caller, uh, could you please this, uh, tell me where you're from? Number, please, mm. well, he just wants my phone number. Uh, the gentleman wants my phone number. Okay. What I would recommend you to do is, um, if you can email us, okay, and I'll give the email at the end. It's um, business today. Europe at europentv.com. Please email us with your question or if you want his number, I will more gladly give you the number. But what you can do is um, you can give your number to our operators and they will take your number as well. Do you want to ask any question on the show? It's all right. Thank you. Just hold the line. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> We're running out of time as well. Sorry. Could you tell me where you... You're talking about the taxation. Oh yes. Yeah. So, uh, from by 2021, if you're earning 20,000 uh, pound rental, uh, gross rental in a property, uh, you only buy for. Uh, uh, I've got another taxi. caller. Just before we finish, I might as well sure. uh, entertain them. Sure. Um, no hello, Stamil from Caller. Would you like to tell well, me where you're calling from? Um, this is Shamuddin from uh, Birmingham. Hello there, my uh, How are you? <laughs> legal uh, advisor. I was listening to your program. Can I just say it's very, very good and interesting program. And I know Tanjima very well as a mortgage broker. And um, in the first part of your program, Tanjima was saying, and you asked him a question, why people would go to the brokers and not go directly to the bank. Mm. As a lawyer, I would recommend that people go to the brokers. And the reason I would to brokers is this. The brokers could look at the best um, uh, market for you, the best interest rate for you. Even, I mean, some brokers don't charge, some brokers do charge, but even if you pay a broker to arrange your mortgage, you actually save the money in the rates and the discounts they get for you. Yeah. Um, and also, some banks don't deal with it directly with a good rate. They give it to the brokers, they don't give it to the general public. So I will always recommend that you use a broker and somebody like Tanjim Bai is a reputable broker. I've worked with him for a number of years and um, he's very yeah. good. And I would all, always recommend that you should do that. Okay, now thank you very much for that. Um, and uh, I can assure you, I've, I've known Sham Uddin, you know, he's got quite a few properties, so he knows what he's saying. No, of okay. course. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much for your time. And actually we're running out of time. We're just coming to the ending. So um, thank you for calling. Okay. Sure. Sorry. Uh, 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 so, as we were saying, thank you, Shambai, for your comments. Uh, this is really encouraging. Yeah, uh, it's very true what you said. As well. uh, sure, thank <laughs> you. Uh, uh, so, um, as I was saying, 80% uh, of the gross rental, they will tax you 80 on 80% 80 of the gr gross rental. So, what it, what it might mean for some uh, um, property investors, uh, if you are a ca casual co property investor, it might, it might cost you, yeah. uh, let alone making any profit. Because they are they are um, taxing you on your gross rental yeah. uh, income. Before it was like if you if you got a gross twenty thousand, and after paying the maintenance on state agents and this and that fee, whatever net amount you had, you had to pay tax on that. From now on, uh, by twenty twenty one, you would actually be paying tax on the eighty percent gross rental. So this is something be aware of. Um, and if you haven't already, uh, uh, make an appointment with your accountant and do talk to them how to overcome this. There are ways of overcome, uh, overcoming yeah. this, this issue. Yeah, I think it's all uh, stacked 
Uh, we only got a minute to, uh, sure. to finishing, actually. But um, another day, I will, uh, I will have to ask you to come onto the show again. Sure, uh, it's be been happy a pleasure to. having you here. So, viewers, thank you very much for watching once again, and I thank you again. Well, viewers, that's all, uh, that's all for today. And I've learned a few things, and I hope you have as well. Remember, you can still email us with any further questions uh, you may have. I promise they will be answered. And also, uh, before I go, as always, I'd like to give you a few quotes. And um, Robert Kiyosaki said, real estate investing, even on a very small scale, remains a tried and true means of building an individual's cash flow and wealth. Now, viewers, think about it for a moment. You know, landlords grow rich in their sleep. It, it's, it's just like that. It can't get any better than that, really. Well, that's all from me today. And um, I would like to thank the NTV team, especially Farsu Ahmed Chowdhury, who's arranged a wonderful guest for me and great advisor uh, for coordinating the show as well. Now, don't forget, tune in every Sunday, 5 p.m. We'll be back again next Sunday, repeat, and live again the following Sunday. And if you have any other questions, please email us on business today at europentv.com that's business today at europentv.com and finally do remember until next time tomorrow's business is business today <laughs>